The second option that you might have is to draw a tree. Now, there are many, many ways to draw trees. I am a fan of keeping it a little more simple, and I just divide each time. Um, it's just a, a quick way. So I'm going to start with my the trunk of my tree, and then I'm just going to basically make almost like the letter Y. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that with each branch that separates. This is really not like a true, true tree, but it's a simple way to do a tree. You just basically keep going. And then as you get toward the end, the end pieces, um, you can just like draw little lines that sort of lead off from it. So you're gonna do that whole thing. And again, with this, uh, shading is going to be super important. Uh, otherwise, it starts to look very flat. Now you can choose to do like a silhouette. So maybe there's sunset in the back, so you just wanna take a marker if you have one, and you can go in and I'm just coming through here. It's simple, simple little tree here. It's nothing, it's not fancy tree. Just a quick, quick little tree. And you're gonna do this. And you see, like, this is only, we're at two minutes on this video, and I'm talking while I'm going, and I've not spent all that much time, and my tree is almost, uh, the highlight, or the outline of it, is almost done. So, we're not spending a ton of time on this drawing, guys. It does not have to be super fancy. I'm wanting you to really think about what elements and principles are we using while we're doing these right so I've come back in now I'm going to think about my shadows and anywhere there's a branch that's sort of behind I'm just going to give it a little shadow a uh, little little shadows here just to darken darken some areas up and it's a tree right so you can kind of I like to be a little more free with my marks. It's not scribbling, but it's close to it. It's very expressive. I like, I like my trees to be expressive, but that's me. Uh, you might decide to do a silhouetted tree where it's completely blacked out, like, because there's light behind it. Um, you could choose to go into great detail and, and make it look really finished. Those are all your choices. Um, there's no wrong way to do this, okay? If you choose to do the tree. So I'm a little more expressive with my marks, okay? Uh, so a tree is the second option. And again, I'm gonna write on here. So what, the way that I did my tree could be different than the way you do your tree. So you might use different elements or principles for your tree that I primarily used for mine. So think about that as you're drawing. That's what I want you to think about, those elements and principles and applying it to your drawing. 